Gawthorne's hut was designed as an eco hut. It's powered by solar energy alone and its location is in a very quiet pocket at the back of our property, not too far from Mount Buckaroo, which is one of the notable landmarks around Mudgee. Hi, my name's Rick Gordon and with my wife Stephanie, we live on a rural property called Wilgarra. The name Gawthorne's Hut was derived from an original hut on the property which was used by tenant farmers late in the 1800s actually. So it has a lot of history attached to it. The design of the hut was a very interesting process. We knew we had a lovely site, but we wanted to build something that stood out, was spectacular, caught people's attention and actually added to the Mudgee story. My son Oliver and his good friend Cam Anderson, who's an architect in Mudgee, were really the instigators of the development and the building of Gawthorne's Hut. As you walk into Gawthorne's Hut, you've got a nice little fireplace on your left hand side. You've got some bean bags, which is nice to sit down in front of the fire and it's also in front of the, the big eastern windows. We've then got a kitchen bench area uh, where we've got the sink and a fridge underneath and some shelving. And then the bench extends for quite a long way down the building. And that allows somewhere to sit and have meals looking south back over Mudgee. We've then got a low platform bed. Parts of the roof internally do get quite low, so we've got the bed quite low to the ground. Waking up in Gawthorne's hut is a really nice experience because you get the eastern sun slowly comes into the building. It's beautiful to get woken up by natural light. Behind the bed, you've got the sink, but then the toilet is in its own room for extra privacy. Got an open bathroom. It's a beautiful bath made out of concrete. So it's big and heavy and deep. And then we've got a shower as well. And from both areas, you can get the views of Mudgee. In summer, it's a nice experience to be able to open up the bathroom and let some fresh air into the space. In terms of maintaining a nice temperature inside, for cooling, we've got a ceiling fan and also plenty of cross ventilation. Sitting inside, you're looking east down the Lawson Creek Valley, but you're also looking over the top of the farm dam, which is adjacent to the hut. It has bird life on it, little diver ducks and, and normal ducks. We have an array of birds here that live in the trees, parrots and finches, woolly wagtails, magpies, and the other wildlife that we often see are kangaroos. Part of the design brief to the architect was we wanted the exterior of the building to be really clean. And that meant that all of the services, so the hot water, the batteries for the solar power are all hidden at the back of the building where you can't see them. We put a wood fire in partly because we just felt it was much more fitting to be out in the country and in a building like this with a wood fire even though it takes a little bit more work. And then outside we've also got a fire pit where people can sit around in the evening. A lot of credit has to go to our son Oliver and his friend Cameron Anderson, the architect. Initially we were a bit negative about having an architect. We thought we could just do it ourselves. But the end product has proved us wrong in that regard. And we're so thrilled with what we've got from Cam and Ollie. Thanks for your interest in Gawthorne Sut. We're excited about it. We'd love to have you come if you'd like to come and stay. We have bookings available through Airbnb or directly on our own website.